Hi everybody, it's Amy at Crafty Cat. So today is Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge Day. But first I wanted to show you some lovely avocado dyed paper that I got from my friend Denise at Wonder Bar Crafts. Um, she sent me this lovely package of paper. Right now she's got packages of 10 sheets of avocado dyed lace, you know, with the lace design in it paper um that's all she's got she doesn't have these great big packs like she sometimes does around valentine's day um she said that she will be doing uh, another die around valentine's day and probably do these bigger packs um i may also have some other things that she added that wouldn't be in those packs but roughly uh these packs she does at valentine's day right now though you can get the packs of 10 sheets of avocado dyed paper with lace design just wanted to throw that out there and this is the last die that she's going to do this year so um, definitely go over if you want some and get some because uh, she's not going to do it again until probably valentine's day it's a lot of work she spends days um getting the die ready and then dyeing all the paper and you know if you've ever dyed it can be crazy but avocado dye is especially um time consuming all right so we have a top cover sheet that she just has covered it with but it's the beautiful avocado dye so i can use that for something and she is always so sweet and sends me little little goodies so thank you denise thank you thank you thank you my friend i love you so a little uh, rose bag that has some tags and three by five cards it looks like yeah and so this is a new design that she's done with the leaves and I'm not sure if she has these left in the shop they might be already gone but I know that um, I checked this morning she did have the lace just the paper so um, you can definitely get that so yeah the leaves are super cool Denise she said that was extremely time consuming and I can only imagine um, so I got some lace 3 by 5 cards. You can see the design there. And they're all going to be a little bit different depending on where um, the lace is set on top of them. And these are what? 4 by 6 I think. Cards. And then some doilies. Love these little pink ones. They're so cute. And then these are um, like coffee filters. It's just a different shape. I'm sure you guys have seen those coffee filters. But they would make cute pockets like that in a, on a page. And then here is a coin envelope. And a lot of times they come undone when you die, so you can just glue them back close. But it's kind of nice because if you, if you want to decorate them any particular way, or you can leave them so they open and you can write um, on the inside too. Any envelope. And these other envelopes. And she did mention she dyed some different envelopes than what she usually does, so very cool. And a little doily envelope. Yeah, she just gets the best color I've seen. I've seen a lot of other avocado dye, and it's either super pale or almost brown. Um, <clears throat> Denise, I don't know how she does it different or anything, but anyway, she just gets this gorgeous, um, saturated, I mean, look how saturated that is, uh, pink color. And so they're just really, really cool. And these are the uh, bigger... Um, I don't know what these are called, these envelopes she told me to in her little letter to me. Thank you, Denise. And I'm, my brain is just being goofy right now. But anyway, nice big envelopes there. So definitely around um, Valentine's Day, keep an eye on her shop because she'll have more of the stuff. But right now, go get yourself some paper before it's gone. Some another. These are these super big envelopes, which are awesome. I still have a few of those that I didn't use. I, I tend to hoard it, um, <laughs> the avocado dyed paper. I don't know why, but I do. It was a good thing that I hoarded it because uh, she <laughs> had to move and do all kinds of stuff. So, you know, she didn't get to do anything for a while. That's really cool. So these would be beautiful in any journal, but especially a fall journal. I know there's a few fall kits out right now that have like pink pumpkins and stuff. I think Denise even worked with one. Um, and I don't know the name of them or anything. I've just kind of seen them in passing. But uh, so that would be really a cool look. 
I don't think I'm going to get to a fall journal this year. But they are, they can be beautiful for sure. I might do one of those little folios or something like Gail's been doing. Because they are really cool. These are beautiful, Denise, with the lace design. Oh, look at that. Very cool. And you get this effect with um, those plastic like tablecloths or placemats, uh, that kind of thing. It's that plastic lace is how you can get a really good effect. I mean, you can get it with real lace. It just doesn't work quite as good. I've tried it with real lace because I don't have any of the plastic lace. And um, yeah, I mean, it works. It's just not as good. So then there's these. And I'm thinking these are the... Well, these don't have any lace design. I know she's got some lace design ones. These are the plain ones. So you get lots of variation too, like the lighter and the darker. But I just love that darker one when she can get them so dark. And this is kind of cool too because it's almost like a speckly effect. Fabulous as always, my friend. My goodness. And then lined paper and this is part of that pack that she does around valentine's day these are composition notebook pages and um, they're nice because you can just you know cut them down a little bit and have them to sew right into your signature so lots of those and then she always does some graph paper in that bigger kit that she does But it is great for Valentine's Day, definitely. And then she said she dyed me some Christmas paper, some Christmas um, music paper. Thank you. She knows I, the, my favorite is the music paper in the avocado dye. She knows I love that. And she spoils me. Thank you, thank you, my friend. So, so cool, so cool. So yeah, definitely go over and get yourself some of the lace avocado dye because it is beautiful. Love these tags. Alrighty then. So what we're going to do, and I will have a link in the description box below the video to her Etsy shop. It's an Etsy shop and it's Wonder Bar Crafts. Okay. And I know you're probably not going to under, totally understand what I'm saying. So definitely check my description box and um, you'll see. Oh, I don't even have all my lights on. My goodness, I'm, I apologize. I hope you could see that paper. Okay, so this is the Marguerite Miller Collage Challenge. It's a 52-week prompt challenge where you get five prompts plus a um, bonus prompt. I use all six, but you can use five in any, you know, however, you can um, replace one of the regular prompts with a bonus prompt. And I'll leave a link to her um, website or her YouTube channel in the description box below so you can get more information from her. So I started uh, way back in, I think, I can't remember, I think I did February is when I started. So I was doing like two um, collages a week to catch up and then once I caught up I've done one a week since then. But these are all of my collages and you can see a video for each one of these collages. Um, I have a link or a playlist of hashtag CW planner um, challenge. And so you can see each each week if you want to go back if you haven't seen them all. So we are up to week. There, there was last week's. That was the Halloween-y looking one. So we're up to week 40. Holy smokes. That's insane. So this week we have an illustration and I cut this cool circle of this guy. I mean, I'm, I'm going to envision him sitting in a kind of a meadow sketching or reading. He could be reading under his umbrella. Okay. And then something with fur. I chose this. This is, was out of the um, extraordinary book of things to cut and collage, um, you know, those ones from Amazon. 
And then a math symbol I have drawn using my Hippie Crafter paint pens. Just math symbols all over this paper. And this was a drop paper and then I added some um, stuff to it, crinkled it all up. And so that's, that's what we're gonna use for a math symbol. I was gonna have my son do it and I forgot before he left today, so. A postage stamp. I have some little foxes. The sun, the only thing I could find that I had for the sun <laughs> was this image with the sun coming in. So that's what I'm using. Instead of the actual like sun, I'm using this for my sun because that's what I had. Um, and bonus is a food item. Well, I chose a mushroom because you can eat mushrooms. I don't know if you can eat this particular kind of mushroom, <laughs> but you can eat mushrooms. So that's what we're going with. All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know all the things about the mushrooms. I only eat the ones from the store, so. <laughs> uh, so I don't have, I don't, I don't have any issues with that. My sister was growing them, but she also, you know, got like a, a kit of edible mushrooms so that you could grow yourself, which that was super cool. Um, but yeah, and I'm just gonna tear this. I may be tearing it more but for now, I just want to get kind of down to the mass symbols and have a torn edge. So I hope you're all having a fabulous day. I'm having a good day. I got to go get my oil changed and run some other errands. Stuff that I don't love doing because it um, kind of messes up my whole day, you know? I'm sure you know. You know how that is. Okay. I might actually, I know I'm going to need this smaller. It's just too big. Okay. So we might use like a piece here or something. And then I need to ink this. Yeah, I couldn't, I even looked in that in a uh, book of extraordinary things to cut and collage or whatever. And I didn't find a sun in there too, unless I just was being a dope and missed it. But, um... Yeah, I don't have any, any scents. And I didn't find much of anything in my stash except the sunlight. So we're just going with it. Okay, plus it's, it's kind of good for my something with fur. <laughs> this thing cracks me up. I don't know if it's a... Australopithecus gigantus, or what, but, which was an actual primate, a, a Bigfoot, if all, for lack of all other terms, but, um, a big old Bigfoot, or a big old ape. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this is, but that would be my, my guess. If I, you guys can tell me if you know and I'm wrong. They were an actual thing, so. All right, and a mushroom. I know I was trying to think of something edible and I'm like, I've got this whole sort of woodsy effect happening and, oh, mushrooms, yeah. <laughs> I just like it to kind of go together. Not that it has to, but that's just the way I like it. Okay, so now I need a glue page. And I'm just using my old scrapbook paper that I know I'll never use for anything else just because like I just I just know I won't use that so that's why I have it for glue page I figure at least it gets a life that way and I love sometimes I use them for drop cloth like you know catch paint whatever that type of thing so we're gonna glue this piece I think down at the bottom so I'll just go ahead and do that get my math symbols on there Oh, I have them in here too. I forgot about that in my number little thing. Huh. Well, we could stamp a couple of those at the end. It's 
funny how you just overlook things, you know, when you're looking for items to use with this challenge. But I looked everywhere for a sun, and I didn't have anything that was worth a hooey. So that was the best I had. I'm just going to kind of crunch it because you know I can't resist. I can't ever just glue a piece of paper, this kind of paper down. It's always got to get, because I can, you know, it's so thin. It just crunches so good. And I love that. So, no, oh, I didn't ink that at all. <laughs> all right, we'll just do a little on there. And then I think I want to cut this a little so that he might look like he's sort of walking into these trees. Because I want to see the sun, but I don't want to lose his arm either. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that now looking at it. The only one he could walk or go behind is this one right here, and it's attached down here at the bottom. So that would be weird. Yeah, I really kind of want him sort of like behind a tree or something. Because I want to see my sunlight, since that's part of the collage. It is just pouring rain right now. It is. It was weird all night. It was raining on and off and strange. I mean, you know, it's getting to be that time of the year. It's not that strange, I guess. But it, it was so hot yesterday here again. So it's a little strange. Do I want... Hmm. Do I want some of this off? I'm just not liking the way these two are like basically the same size. That's bothering me. So I think I'm going to take some of this off. I don't think I'm going to be able to tuck him behind anything. Because I just don't think I can. Sorry, I'm just thinking. I know I go silent when I'm doing these things, but need, it's going to need something else over here. It was kind of um, little prompts. <laughs> like, if I did have a son, it would have been just a little tiny something. I'm going to do this just for the goofiness of it. I'm going to cut along this tree if I can see with my me old eyes. And I know you probably can't see that great what I'm doing. I'm just cutting along the edge of the tree with my blade. I think it would be kind of funny to just do that and then put it on here. So his arm is oddly coming through to the other side. That'd be the shock of your life, huh? You walk through this foresty area and you find a little meadow to sit at and sketch or read or whatever and that comes walking through. <laughs> Uh, this guy doesn't look very alarmed though <laughs> okay let's see what can we put over on that other side I just don't know some music maybe that has nothing to do with anything 
It might work. We'll try it. I had so much fun doing that um, crazy painting I did yesterday. <laughs> you guys, oh my gosh. All those colors and I mean those faces just like came at me. I just could not resist doing that. Even though I really need to finish that journal that I'm working on, I just was so into that that I couldn't, um, you know, help it. I just couldn't not do it. So, oh, you know what? I think I'm going to look for something. Okay, I'll be right back. Got it. So I had this um, old workbook, a kid's, you know, everyday mathematics workbook. And it needs to be coffee dyed or something, but clearly I have no time for that. So we're going to put some um, sewing tissue over it. You know, my old trick that I always use. It could use like ink or paint or something on it too. Um, but I don't feel like stopping the video again and waiting for it to dry and all that jazz. So I'm just going to use my wonderful sewing tissue. Because that seems to be... A favorite thing of mine. You guys are probably sick and tired of <laughs> watching videos where I glue sewing tissue to stuff, but it does, it just works great. It just adds that old vintage -y feel to it. And I don't know if I'll use all this, but I'll use it for something eventually, so I'm just going to go ahead and pretty much cover most of it. So yeah, it's crazy. I can't believe that it's already going to be October here shortly and everything my anniversary is coming my husband's birthday is coming <laughs> it's, it's getting to be that time of the year where I run around like a crazy person trying to get stuff done and then we have other family birthdays and then Christmas and you know you know how it goes you all know sure your lives are as nutty as mine Seems to be the way of it. And I'm just gonna, I don't care if it's wrinkly. It will be fine. I mean, this is a little wet. I would say, you know, let it dry, definitely, if I had time to do that, but we're gonna just tear it and see what we get. I just want a piece. I'm not crazy about the blue, but I think um, it'll be all right. We'll see. And we have the math symbol of plus on there lots of times. So that's good. Oops, I don't want to use that. Definitely could use the other side of the ruler. That's what they're for. But I always seem to use this side. It's just the side that I like to look up the best. Okay, much better. And then I can also just kind of hit it with this. I know it's just another rectangle. Silly me, right? We can tear it some more though if we need to. I just wanted to get the, the color on it. See, it looks a lot better. I mean, I like the music. The music looked good. I just, um, you know, I always got to stick with the, what's, what's happening. Yeah, I like this because I can stick it higher up at the top too. And then this guy. I kind of like his hand hanging off down here too. It's all going that way. I don't know if that's weird or not, but I think that's how it's going to end up. <laughs> okay, um, they're all linked. Let's get them glued now. My other glue was done. Done for. Okay, so let's deal with him first, getting him in here how I want him. Got to 
get this glue going, which is always tricky. If you're gonna order art glitter glue, do it soon if you need some, because it's getting to be that time of year. I guess they won't um, ship it during the winter because it uh, freezes. So there's certain times of the year they won't ship it. At least that's my understanding. I've never had that problem. I haven't had to order it a lot. Like once you get a bottle, a big bottle of it, it lasts a long time. I did order more at one point, but I think it was summer when I ordered it, so. Yeah, okay, so let's get this piece glued. So yeah, I could have gone with a lot of other um, things with fur. <laughs> I thought about a wool for a fox or, and um, you know, definitely would have worked. But then I saw that and I was like, oh, I'm using him. <laughs> You know how I do. I see these images and I'm just like, yes, I pick that. Go ahead and glue him down a little bit better. He's very cute. I mean, he would be terrifying in reality, but, and I don't, they weren't this big, like, this thing looks like it's like, I don't even know, 12 feet tall or something, but um, they were gigantic, I know that. glued. I don't have too much glue stuck on here. So yeah, I love these collages. Love this day of the week. <laughs> it's just, they're just super fun. I could just collage like forevermore. Just make crazy collages. And that'd be fun thing to do. Probably not. I'd probably still get bored with that too, because that's what I do. I scooted him way down, didn't I? Come on, arm. Ah, now my page is messed up. Don't mess it up now. Schmutz on his hand, of course. I'll probably go over it though with um, matte medium anyway, because I like that with this uh, this magazine-y type page, and he's kind of that shiny that I don't love. And this is a little bit of the shiny as well, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this one down with this. It's a thicker paper. I'll make sure it stays. Does his hand still come up? Yeah. Kind of like that, like that. Oops, let's have the guy sitting straight or he'll look really crazy. That's kind of what my husband and I did the other day when we did our little sketches. We had chairs, but sat out and did a little sketching. I was shocked that I got him to do that with me. I mean, in some ways not, because like I said, we used to like color and do junk like that when we were younger, but um, it's been a long time since we've done like an art project-y thing together. So, although he has, but like he did his clock that I still haven't shown you guys because I keep forgetting to bring it upstairs. 
so he does like to do projects like that so but it was fun okay maybe i want something somewhere else since i kind of got a weird thing happening with the directional that would work too i could put a big huge mushroom there's a Gigantopithecus and a giant mushroom, too, on this picture. <laughs> I love the look on his face, like, what? <laughs> was gonna go falling the other way and I was like oh no don't do it right okay I'm liking that we'll gotta do some stamping on it we gotta put our number somewhere hmm. maybe we can do I have more oh yeah kind of like some of these up there I'm not very good at drawing those but mm, don't think I like that like the percentage better no I don't want it I don't like it I don't want it okay let's put our I'm gonna just stamp a number because I forgot to get out my numbers Forty. Week forty. Where did this year go? It's just not nice. Rude. Okay, so Let's put some other, we might as well put some more math symbols on, since I got them right here. Isn't that what you see every day when you go for a walk in the woods? <laughs> Can you imagine how terrifying that would be? Oh my gosh. But I do love the look on his face. He just looks like sweet, you know, like <laughs> I think that's all I want of those. Um what other stamping things do I want? My little box of junk down. With his little, I don't even know what that is, some kind of fruit or something. This could be a smaller ape too that just they had the giant picture of in the, in that book. just don't recognize what kind of ape that would be on the hands man I smeared it it's the problem with the slickery paper it smears I'm gonna try to fix that over there because it's kind of smeared on the white instead of the magazine which is weird Okay. I like
like these numbers from Tim Holtz. They're his um, ticket stamps, which are also very awesome, but I just like to use the numbers. Sometimes that needs more glue under there. It uh, makes the same one again. I know, me and my numbers, right? Just so cool. And my circles. Man, what I would give for steady hands again. It's crazy stuff that when you're a kid or, you know, young, you just don't even, you just, whatever. And then you get older and you're like, why is, why am I got the shaky hands? Crazy. Okie dokie. I am thinking... Uh, maybe, let's see, hold on, hold on. Just need a little bit of this speckly. Try not to slip. Yes, it needed that. I know I'm putting a lot on that stamp. I like stuff on stamps. Oh, I totally smeared that. Nope, that was bad. I shouldn't have done that either. Oh, darn. Want that there? Do I not want that there? Maybe if I can get a little. Yeah, it'll work. Where did I put my glue? Oh. it a little bit. All right, it's done. I won't mess with it anymore because I'll probably just mess something up again. <laughs> so we have, you see that guy? we have an illustration, something with fur, math symbols everywhere, a postage stamp, sun, I covered up my son. I'm such a dope. Um, a food item. So, ta-da. That is it for week 40. We did it. Bring it up so you guys can see, hopefully, without the glare. My Gigantopithecus. <laughs> All right. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you again tomorrow. Love you guys. Talk later. Bye.